Hello everybody, this is Android Gamer, and today I'm playing Gabriel Knight. Uh, so we're going on to the next days already. I think. Let's make sure. Or did that save or not? No, it did. Is that the door? Alright, so just ignoring the fact that there's somebody at the door and not gonna ask her, I was like, what, what's he there for? You're not speaking to me this morning? Don't be silly. I just have nothing to say. Have it your way. Yeah, so, do you realize after I left the old lady's house that that was the end of the day, and... Did you notice this guy outside the shop? Yeah, he gives me the creeps. I wish he'd go away. And you didn't realize that, uh, so you missed out on the end thing where, um, I can't think of her name, but Sarah well, I was thinking to make sure I remembered it, but, yeah, the rich lady, she, the last rich woman that Gable's sort of into came by and uh, had a rendezvous with him. Uh, so now it's the next day after that. Let's see what's here. In the newspaper. Time stated June 21st, 1993. Gabriel's eye is immediately drawn to an article about the voodoo murder. He says he, he solved it. it I don't believe this. They've closed the case. What case? The voodoo murders case. The paper says that the police have learned that the murders were a result of an underworld cartel war, and that the war is over. That's not good? It's ridiculous. And what about the killers? And the voodoo angle, they never got anything on that. I know you were into it, Gabriel, but if it's over, that's hardly a negative. Anyway, if you're that upset, why don't you talk it over with your pal Mosley? You don't get it, Grace. Just forget it, okay? Gabriel decides to check his horoscope, despite his disgust. Death walks close to you today. Resist temptation lest his eye fall on you, too. Peachy. Gabriel also spots an ad for Sam Springleton, a jeweler. Sam hangs out at the Napoleon house. Ah, so I should go to him and talk about the bracelet. Talk to her. Got a minute, Greg? What's up? Any messages? Do you have messages for me? Your grandmother called. She said to remind you to stop by and go through your father's things. Hmm. Okay. Any more Do messages? You have messages for me? That man from Germany called again. Wolfgang Ritter. Now he's claiming to be a relative of yours. Interesting. Can I get that phone number for Wolfgang Ritter? Sure, I'll give it to you when we're done talking. Why not now? Could you do some research for me? Sure, what? I have a pattern I need you to research. How interesting. What is it? It's a reconstruction of the tracings they found around the murder victims. The ones done in flower and blood? Yuck! Mm -hmm. You shouldn't carry this kind of thing around. Who knows what these symbols mean? Well, wear your evil banishing gloves if you want, but check it out for me, <laughs> would you? I'll see what I can find out. How did I get the paper back? Anything else? I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything. anything. What do you know about the voodoo murders? You won't get far questioning me about it, Sherlock. Okay, fine. Here's that phone number. Thanks. Okay, let's go see what this guy's all about. Gabriel watches the man watching the shop. Get the hell out of here. The figure outside does not respond. Get 
Let's go straighten him out. I'll see you again. See you later. See ya. Really, we're not gonna address the man outside the store. customer. Of yours? Hardly. How's the flower business? Well, better than the used book business, I see. Rare mm -hmm. books. That explains why I so rarely see anyone in here. Are you going to sell me that wonderful painting of yours today? How much, How much would you give me for it? Oh, you're serious? You'll let me have it? Gabriel, don't you dare sell your father's painting. Yeah, I'll let you have it all right. How much for the painting? Hmm, well, I could give you a hundred. That's all I can let go at the moment, you know. My affairs are so tied up. Gabriel, a hundred dollars for your father's painting? Stay out of this, Grace. Not Forget it, Bruno. Not for a hundred. Not now. Have it your way. The hundred goes with me. I'll be back, though. I can see how much you want it. Yeah, I will. I'll show you wanting it. Careful. You don't want to damage the door with your incredible wit. It's not wrong. It was bad. Ritter's phone number, written in Grace's pretty scrawl. Let's see what he wants. Actually, it's probably late for him right now. Um, no, it's just morning for Didn't us. Didn't Grace say you had then. to dial 011 first to get international? Yes, you did. in Germany, and Wolfgang Ritter guy says he's a relative, but I've never heard of him. What? Why? Why would you go to Uber then? I don't understand. Let's try it again. I'm not calling Germany. Fine. I don't know why I have his number then. Okay, so first I'm gonna go to the police station and talk to Mosley and see what he th thinks of about. It's a closed case, but I don't believe it. <clears throat> Obviously not, because that would be way too easy to, to end the, the game right here. Knight, hate to tell you this, but you're out of a book. No, the not. Voodoo Murders case has been closed. I had a feeling you were going to say that. Son of a bitch. Not closed. I have to tell you, bud, I'm pretty pissed off about this case being closed. You guys are making a big mistake. Hey, I'm not any happier about it than you are, Knight, but I've got my orders. How can I convince you to reopen the case? Look, the department's not interested. So, couldn't you make them interested? <laughs> With what? I got seven bodies and still no leads. 
The voodoo angle's worthless, and besides, these people aren't hurting anybody but out-of-town drug dealers and hitmen. The voodoo stuff is not worthless. It's the key to the whole thing. And these people are dangerous. They need to be stopped. Okay, you want me to reopen this case? Prove what you just said. What do you mean? You need to prove that there's a legitimate voodoo cult in Narland. Prove that they're a threat. Get me a lead on the cult. Reopen the How case. can I convince you to reopen the case? I already told you. You still need to prove that there's a legitimate voodoo cult in Narland. Prove that they're a threat. Get me a lead on the cult. Okay then. Do I have anything right now? I have the bracelet. Let's see if that will be enough for him. That doesn't prove anything. Fine. What about this? You know those marks you found around the murder victims? This is a reconstruction of the whole pattern. What makes you think this is an accurate reconstruction? Well, I borrowed the partial patterns from your police file and did my own tracing of the pattern at Lake Pompter Train. An architectural artist reconstructed it for me from the partials. Really? So this is the whole pattern, huh? That's pretty good work, Knight. But that doesn't prove that this pattern is really connected to voodoo. Okay. Obviously, there's other things I have to do. What this? That doesn't prove anything. Okay. I will be back, Mosley, after I talk to the guy at the university and talk to the jeweler. I'm going to hit the road. Ciao, baby. Drummers everywhere. The Napoleon House is one of the quarter's very old, very classic neighborhood bars and restaurants. Gabriel is found here frequently. Okay. A man in a loud tie stares morosely at a chessboard. Talk to him. Excuse me, I, I hate to interrupt your game, but could I ask you a few questions? <laughs> what game? This ain't a game, it's a slaughter. <laughs> He's right, you know. So let me die in peace, would you? <laughs> I don't talk to him. Talk could to I the ask bartender. you a few questions? Sure, I'm not too busy at the moment. What can you tell me about voodoo? 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 Don't believe in it myself. I invented a drink once called Laveau's Tomb, but it wasn't very popular. Some people well, no, do I... believe, though. Even some of our regulars here at Napoleon House. What can you tell me about your regulars in here? See those old guys at the chess table? That's Sam and Marcus. They've played there every day for 20 years. Sam, the one with the purple jacket, he's lost every one of those games. <clears throat> it's not that he's a bad player. I've seen him beat guys twice as good as Marcus, but Marcus has Sam so psyched out, he loses his nerve every time. Mm. By the way, Sam, the chess player, he's into that voodoo stuff. He's always talking about spells and gree, -gree and such. Really? Thanks. Sam and voodoo. So what has Sam told you about voodoo? Well, about 50 years ago, Sam was too shy to talk to this pretty girl he was in love with. He went to a voodoo yen and had her make him a love charm. It was a little pouch that he had to bury under the girl's front porch. Well, he buried the pouch, and the next day he went up and talked to the girl. And sure enough, she didn't reject him. Now she's his wife, poor guy. White poor guy. Okay. Let's even talk to him then. 
Sorry to bother you, but could I ask you a few questions? I'm not the chatty type, am I, Sam? No, you old bastard, you're not. Besides, I'm busy sucking poor old Sam dry. Go bug someone else. You're a real sweetheart, Marcus, you bastard. Okay, then I don't want to talk. The velvet chairs are getting a bit treadbare. Gabriel has spent enough hours sitting around this bar. Okay, let's go to the university then. I'm certain there's something I have to do there, but let's talk to the professor. to Hartridge's office is locked. The podium, Hartridge's throne. Gabriel isn't in the mood to give a lecture. Gabriel isn't in... Gabriel's in one of the lecture halls at Tulane University. Was that his grandmother? Gabriel, I'm so glad you stopped by. Oh, sorry it's been a while, Grandma. Yep. Not at all. <laughs> Give me a kiss. Now, come on, sit down. Tell me how you're doing. has a worn blue chintz pattern that Gabriel remembers fondly. How have you been, Grant? Just fine, dear. I'm sorry I bothered you at work, but um, I was hoping you'd get a chance to go through your father's things in the attic. Don't be silly. You can call me anytime. <laughs> Tell me about our family. Who would you like to hear about? Your granddad, your father, or your mother? How about all the above? Tell me something about Granddad. Your Granddad immigrated to America when he was 21. He walked his way through school, met and married me, and we had your father, Philip. Tell me about my father. Your father was my only child. How we adored him. Tell me about my mother. Your mother was Margaret Templeton when your father met her. She came from a very wealthy Creole family in New Orleans. She was beautiful and reckless. She was madly in love with your father, of course, but I also think she liked to find her family. Of course. Since you're so interested in family history these days, why don't you go by St. Louis Cemetery Number 1 and visit the family tomb? It would be such a sweet gesture. It's just past the Ross tomb, right? Oh, maybe I will. Okay. Oh, nothing. All right, dear. Okay, let's go up I'm gonna the, go up to the right. attic, right? Be careful of the dust. I didn't know he was allergic to the dust mates. The sheet-covered upholstered rocker used to be in Gabriel's nursery. I think I'll leave that up here. An elaborate mechanical clock, probably of German origin, is among the discarded treasures of the attic. of importance.
take that with me. I think I'll leave that up here. How are those Christmas lights on in the bottom corner there? It's a lady's hat from the 1920s. And from uh, Grand's okay. Virginia Wolf period. The old trunk looks like it's gone to hell and back. It looks pretty heavy. Fine then. Operate it. There's a lot of Granddad's old stuff in here. Might be something interesting. sort of key. A bundle of letters. Love letters between Harrison and Rebecca. Passport there. Pretty good, good. More of Harrison Knight's German books. Just what I need. Some old clothes, including a pair of leather shorts. Aren't those called leather hose? Okay, Gabriel, calm down. Not calm down, I mean silly. I mean, calm down, you're breaking the fourth wall here. Exit. Key. It's an antique clock key, most commonly used to wind antique clocks. I think I'll leave that up here. The face of the clock is hand painted. A ring. There's an interesting design in the base of the clock. There's an interesting design in the base of the clock. I want to use the key though. Does this mean anything to you, Graham? Sorry. No, Gabriel. <laughs> well, that's great. That clock has been in the Wright family, Granny's family, for centuries. Granny doesn't like anyone messing with her clock, including Gabriel. Mm -hmm. Well, Gran, I'd better get going. Take it easy on those women out there, will you, Gabe? Women, you're my only girl, Grant. Okay. That's where the cemetery then just a minute ago. I will go. Oh, he's back. Him at all. An old man tends a cemetery. See if he says anything Mind if I pick your brain a minute? Go ahead. These folks ain't in no hurry. Right. 
The marker reads, Harley Wright. Grand sister. She died young. If Gabriel wants to address his ancestors, he should choose a specific plaque. Oh, uh, hi. I'm Rebecca's grandson. Much as when they were alive, the Wright elders give no response. Oh, uh, hi. I'm Rebecca's grandson. Much as when they were alive. Okay. How's it going, Granddaddy? Grand talks a lot about you, Harley. Miss you, Mom. Hey, Daddy. Oh, shoot. Huh. Looks like someone left something in that vase. What's inside? Five? Inside the broken vase, the Gabriel sees a $20 bill. Looks like it's my lucky day. Gabriel doesn't want to take the nameplates from his family tomb. Fine. Yes, I'll just go back. This old tomb has a sword carved into the stone wall below the name of the deceased. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna leave this episode here. So yeah, first I have to figure out how to get Mosley to reactivate the case. Which means I have to convince him and give him proof that the Voodoo cult exists, which also means I have to get the bracelets, which I also have to find a way to mold the bracelets. Um, but yeah, so those will be the next spots, uh, next steps in the next video. And if you want to follow along, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to receive all the notifications. It's Android Gamer, later days, and happy gaming!